good. All right. Well, welcome, welcome, everyone. This is our last, can you believe it? This is our last team huddle for 2019. Last huddle of the decade, like last <laughs> huddle of the teen decade. Um, and so I'm just super excited. If you didn't get a chance, if you're brand new, um, and maybe you didn't get a chance last week to watch um, or be on, I would absolutely recommend watching last week's huddle. It was all about just all of us sharing because of our Arbonne businesses, what we're thankful for. And, um, you know, I think just as we finish out any year, any month, any season really of life, I think it is so important to just always be reflecting on what is there to be grateful for. Because gratitude is really an integral part in you attracting the right kind of people, the right things into your life and to your business. There are times where people are like, I'm doing the things and I'm and I'm not seeing results. And sometimes that can be because they are just doing the things and they're in a planting time. But there are times where just having a posture, a positioning of gratitude and gratefulness um, can absolutely change the energy that you give off, right? Would you rather be around someone who's grateful and they're like, you know, the cup's always half empty instead of, or half full instead of half empty, you know, sun's always shining or do you, you know, we never really want, we're not really attracted to people that have the Eeyore personality or the Eeyore complex plex, or, you know, those things. And those things come out and those things come out whether or not we recognize it. So that's one thing. If, if you didn't get a chance to watch that last week, I would recommend doing that. And just over these next few days and as we head into New Year's, just posturing your heart really for even if 2019 wasn't the year that you wanted, maybe it wasn't the decade, maybe it's just been a tough 10 years, you know, just having the decision to anxiously with anticipation look forward to this next year and this next season and this next decade. Um, because really, um, the circumstances never dictate how we feel about them. It's always our, cho our choice to respond to our circumstances, right? So, um, so anyways, tonight what I wanted to do is I just really wanted to take a few minutes um, and really kind of share what these next three days um, and really this next week can look like for you. Whether you've been in your business for a long time, um, most of you have not. And so, um, or most, you know, whether you've, even if you've been in your business for a while, a lot of you are in kind of different seasons of your business, right? You are in a different leadership level. You have a different team structure. You have a different team size. And so we're moving into these next three days um, to close out the month, close out the year, and then really set ourselves up for 2020 and for January 2020. Okay, so um, how you want to strategically look at these next three days is if you haven't started reaching out to people, um, or next two days, next two days, we have two days left. Um, if you haven't yet really actively, proactively, with priority, started reaching out to people about the 30 Days to Healthy Living Special, the January 6th group, any sort of specials, the things that I posted about in the Facebook team page, that does require time. That requires effort. That requires like a setting aside of time. It can be different sets of time depending on your goals and, and what you're looking to achieve but it is going to require time. And I'm going to tell you from my experience, you cannot wait until New Year's Eve afternoon or evening to start trying to text people and say, hey, do you want to order? Do you want to order? Because many times at that point, they are heading to a New Year's Eve party or they're getting ready to host people at their house or they're just a little bit more in kind of a, um, a celebratory mood and they're not necessarily maybe even on their phones. Like I've had people, it's, for those of you that are really like wanting to 
hit some goals this month or get a lot of QB because you're working towards AIT, you will probably laugh at how many people will send you a text on January 1st saying, ah, did I miss it? I didn't see my phone all night. Like they come into a party or they go to someone's house for game night and they don't, you know, think to take their phone out. So, um, so you really want to work on getting that, um, if you haven't yet started getting that really started tomorrow, but I'm sure most of you have gotten that started. Remember when you're doing orders, make sure you have people's like current credit card information, their current billing address. Cause again, New Year's Eve night is a little bit of a tougher time to try to get a hold of people. If you're like, Oh my gosh, I've got an expired credit card from this preferred client who always orders with me. Right? So just double checking some of those things that you have, um, put together. Um, I do want to tell you all that people right now are in a spending mood. Okay. So they are in the vacation time. They're in the holiday time. It's perfect that this is coming off of a weekend. People are wanting to feel better, look better, do different things for this next decade, make different choices with their finances, all of these things. So this is a time where we as entrepreneurs are going to be doing the things that 97% of the world is not doing over the next two days, right? 97% of the world is going to be not working the next two days. <laughs> we are part of the 3% that if you choose to be part of the 3%, you will be working over the next two days. Okay. And Again, you get to decide what that looks like. I always celebrate New Year's Eve, but it almost always involves a laptop or a computer. And I still hang out with my family or my friends, but it is a work time for me because why? I'm earning a free vacation, always. I am always earning a free vacation. And so it is worth it to me to maybe not make my New Year's Eve so exciting. And I don't know, maybe some of you live in really amazing places and like New Year's Eve is a big thing, but like we're going to be in a blizzard in North Dakota. So we're going to be playing games, eating popcorn, drinking beverages, right? And so I can be on my computer closing out the month because all of the QV that you bring in, in your central district, if you are a district manager or above, or as a consultant, it's all getting doubled. Okay. And so it only gets doubled though, if you're registered for AIT, if you have not yet registered for AIT, because you're sitting here right now thinking, I don't know if I can earn it more than likely you're not going to earn it because right now you're deciding whether or not you can earn it. And so by just registering and throwing your 40 bucks to that registration, you are taking a step of action, you're taking a step of belief, and you're committing to it. And there isn't a guarantee that you are going to earn it, but you'll be much more likely to earn it if you register and get double the points than if you hit the month of February and you sponsor a rock star and you're like, ah, crap, I should have registered in December. And I did it, and then you can earn it, right? Like you would have been able to earn it, but then you miss out on those double points. So you do want to go ahead and you do want to register for that and just commit to seeing this through. Um, there are just lots of principles with this business where <clears throat> it's so imperative to see it through, to see things through as a leader, to see things through as a finisher to see things through as an entrepreneur. And you are the one that's driving your business. You are the one that gets to see things through, okay? So that's really what I want to encourage you all. This is an excellent time to circle back with anybody that you've had in the pipeline, the funnel about the business. A lot of people have been off. A lot of people are still gonna be off this next week, at least these next several days. And just setting up times to have quick phone chats or sending them videos about the business and just saying, I'm looking to partner with three people, you know, in these, this, in the first quarter of the year and really help them get their businesses set up and launched. And you are someone I've always wanted to partner with, you know, would you be open to taking a look or to revisit? Um, circle back with people 
who maybe are already signed up in your business and either they got started and then they kind of just needed to take a break for different reasons or different seasons, or maybe they just never really got launched. Um, again, for different reasons, all those things, but there's so much potential in each one of your businesses. And I just want you to know that tonight. I want you to get off tonight just knowing sky's the limit. And we have talked about this before. We've had calls about this before as a team um, with kind of seeing miracles happen in these last 48 hours. And I can tell you that massive, massive, massive things can happen, do happen, always happen in these last 48 hours. And it, but it happens for those that choose to make it happen. And you choose to make it happen by getting your messages sent out tonight, by following up with people tomorrow, by you know just continuing to just flip over every rock um, until you you know that you have done all that you have done. But I want to tell you that if you have if you are getting close to goals, qualifying, completing, bonusing, and your upline is telling you you can do this, please believe them. And don't decide because you haven't seen it happen for yourself that it can't happen, okay? We don't tell people things that can't happen, but I have seen it where people don't complete a district manager promotion and they're less than $1,000 away. That's crazy. That's crazy. Don't leave that promotion on the line. Go after it. Go flip over some rocks. Go just scoop and scoop and scoop and scoop and you will find it. I promise you will find it. There's no, there's nothing to feel bad about if you, if that's been your situation or you've, or you've had that as part of your journey, right? We all can get really close to goals and not complete it. But I am here to tell you that many times what causes teams or individuals from hitting a goal and not hitting a goal is just the willingness to believe and the willingness to be coachable and the willingness to go do those things that need to be done. Okay, so that's really how we're gonna close out um, these next two days. So we have tonight to keep getting a hold of people. Lots of people are gonna be getting messages from me after my kids go to bed and I get a shower and ready for the airplane. Then I'm gonna do a little bit more work. And then we will get a hold of people tomorrow. We will get a hold of people on the 31st. Um, just like always, um, and support like, um, customer service and things like that. They will be there, um, working in the trenches with us to help us close out the year and all of those things as strong as possible. Okay. So the second thing that I wanted to talk with you guys really briefly about tonight is that there will be a tendency. You will feel a draw. <laughs> I promise to take a big break after new year's. Okay, what will happen for most people is you will work and work and work and work and work. You'll celebrate New Year's, which is awesome. You'll take the first off, which is awesome. Totally great. But then what will happen is more than likely, if you're not mindful and paying attention, you'll find yourself really not picking your business up until the sixth or the seventh of the next week. Like, the second and the third will go by and then you'll be like, well, then now it's the weekend and now I got to get ready to get my kids back to school or I got to get back to work or we're going to be traveling home. And you can have these, these times lulls in your business and they can somewhat just um, steal more time from you than you realize. So there's a phrase in our bun that says, take a breath and not a break. Okay. Again, my disclaimer, you are an entrepreneur. You are an independent consultant. I am not your boss. Your upline is not your boss. No one is going to call you on the third and be like, Hey, are you getting your work done today? That's not our job. But what our job is, is our job is to teach you and to show you what is the best way to do these businesses. And the best way, which we've talked about before is consistency. And consistency doesn't mean it needs to consume your day. Consistency means that your business gets a little bit of priority every day. Whether you're working full time, whether you're moving houses, whether you're traveling, whether you're having babies, whether you're got, you know, sick kiddos, whatever it is, your business as a business owner needs to take priority 
a little bit every single day. And so um, that's just one thing to be kind of um, aware of for yourself and for your team. So if you are a leader in your business, in your team, then you want to just circle back with people on the second and you know, or the third and just check in and just say, Hey, you know, we're kicking off the new year. So excited. Um, I'm getting my asks out today or I'm reaching out to some people. I know you have, you know, in touch and base with them about their goals or finding out where they are about those things. I mean, if someone has told you, I'm not doing my business for seven days, so do not contact me, <laughs> then don't contact them, right? Maybe that's just where they're at in their business. But like I've said before, if you guys are on this call on a Sunday night, it's because I know you're wanting to grow your business. You are wanting to take it to the next level. You are wanting to increase those paychecks, not only for yourself, but also the people that you are partnering with and helping lead, um, lead from the front. So that's just something to be mindful of. And again, whenever I share these things with you guys, it's because I was really bad at Arbonne for a long time, like years. Like I remember many, many times feeling like, oh my gosh, it's the 10th of the month already and I'm just getting my Arbonne business started. Well, when I was doing that, I was losing <laughs> the first third of the month every month. It is tough to go quickly or to build a big business when you're cutting yourself off a third of every month, right? So let my hindsight be your foresight and just know that when you do a little bit every day, even when you're traveling, even when you've got lots of other things that are biting for your time, when you keep this business a priority, the compounding effect will kick in and you'll see this grow over time okay so um the only way remember the only way that the ait points double is if you're registered you have to be registered by close on tuesday night okay um make sure for yourself or for those on your team when you're doing going for your bonus whether it's your consultant bonus your district manager bonus Area bonus, just make sure you have enough signups and the signups have a minimum of that 150 order. Again, learn from my mistakes. I have had more than once in my time with Arbonne where I have missed a bonus because one of my signups only had a $107 order instead of a $150 order. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Um, really, really work to look down into your team. Anybody right now really that's at three to five hundred dollars in sales, paint the vision of them getting into call for district at a minimum. They absolutely can and then they can finish next month because part of earning AIT for you, for any of you that are wanting to go to the Bahamas on our bonds dime, which I will tell you will be amazing. It's not just about the QB, it's also about helping other people promote. Okay, helping people promote to district, promote to area, things like that. So I'm really excited. We have two gals that are rallying to finish region, which is massive. Um, and so we are going to be cheering Megan and Mel on as they are doing that. And I just, I there's just a new um, sense of energy and excitement across the team. I feel like a lot of us that maybe fall was not as routine or normal as we wanted it to be or just different things it's just kind of this changing over of a new season a new year um is really exciting so um i think i saw a question <sighs> renee what did, i'm not sure i'm clear on closing days during the month So when we work, we always shoot for like, so that we are always remembering to stay on track. So don't we like go like the 15th or isn't there like a 7th, the 15th? Oh, and yeah. Day? yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yes, those can be true, but those also can be, I'm going to say they can be true and they can be tricky <laughs> because sometimes people are nowhere near their goal on the 15th of the month. 
And if you hold hard and fast to that rule, it can sometimes derail people. Um, but often by the 15th of the month, you want to be about a third of the way towards your goal. Around the 20, to me, around the 23rd to the 25th, you want to be about halfway towards your goal. And then you kind of finish off the goal in those last three or four days of the month. But I can tell you guys, in the 15 years, I have seen goals be hit, smashed, and exceeded in the last 48 hours. And people might, like at this point, might be like, uh, if we do that, I am so far away from my goal, it's not even like possible. But I also know what can happen when you have a team of people working and everyone's doing a little. Um, we've seen that happen with Lori's team. We saw that happen with Fallon's team, with Amy's team, why they were all finishing region. It was just a lot of people doing a little. And so um, it can increase in those last 48 hours, 24 hours, last 12 hours, last six hours, very dramatically. But that's kind of a gauge. Um, yeah of where to be. So um, anybody that you guys have gotten or that have, has said like, yes, I want to do 30 days, um, make sure you're asking them, who do they know? Who do you know that can do this with you? And being really direct about that. Don't shy away from that. Just say, who do you know that you can do this with you? Who do you think wants to feel better too? Let's get them a video. Let's get them some info. That's where you network into other people's networks instead of just only trying to share with people within your own network. I'm just encouraging them that it's always more fun to do it with a friend or a spouse. Spouses are really great to do together because it can really help typically the primary participant stay on track if the spouse is not bringing home Cheetos or Kentucky Fried Chicken or, you know, margaritas or things like that. So when they have the spousal support, um, it can be really successful and beneficial for both of them. So um, do any of the, anybody have any questions, comments, any of the leaders want to share anything before we wrap up for tonight? Something um, that I'll say that has been really helpful to me is I've just been reaching out to people, um, really whoever I think of, um, but I've kind of um, first targeted um, moms and I'm just saying, I'm uh, just inviting them to do the 30 days with me um, and just telling them, um, you know, so I just want them to know that it's not about the weight loss, but about having more energy. Um, and especially as moms that we need the energy and we need to be healthy uh, just with all the sickness going around. And so I'm inviting them and I have um, quite a few people that have responded and said, I have thought of doing something like this. Um, so I just want um, to kind of relay that we can invite people to do this, even if they haven't said anything to us before. Um, and they're not going to be offended, um, especially um, if we just kind of pose it um, to have more energy, to feel better um, and to have that accountability. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I kind of ran into the same thing. I think sometimes like people just think it's um, a weight loss or like if you're asking them, they're thinking, oh, am I overweight? And I'm, I kind of always frame it up too that, um, you know, you don't have to necessarily want to lose weight to do this. It's just for overall health. Mm -hmm. And I know there's several people like on the team that are jumping in for the first time, even as consultants and things and just framing it up, just like Megan said of, Hey, I'm jumping in this. I'm a mom. Um, you know, just looking for a couple of people from an accountability standpoint. I'm looking, you know, you just kind of phrase it up for like three things you're looking to improve and mm -hmm. you know, everybody wants more energy. So I think that comes off versus like, Oh, it's just about the weight loss. So, um, and that comes with it too, but that's just that way. Cause I've ran into that situation of where people are like, Oh, I don't need to lose weight. And I'm like, well, I didn't either. I just needed to improve my overall health and energy. And that's where you can connect with some of those people that may only think of it as a weight loss type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Cause that really, for those of us that have done it or lived that way, that's like, far down. I mean, I know for me, one of the biggest things, especially this group, 
and I'll be totally honest, being this far in my pregnancy, I don't know if I'm going to be jumping in full throttle, but I will tell you that this time of year is the time I struggle the most with eating horribly, just making bad food choices, eating too many sweets, too much junk food, too late at night, just things that I know, like I'm going to wake up and feel crappy in the morning, but it's just that kind of season of year. And so even just helping encourage people that it's just to help them get back on track with like good habits, you know, which is lifestyle and, and things like that. So that's awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited for you guys. It's going to be an awesome close. I cannot wait. So anyways, um, anybody else have any questions, comments before we hop off? <clears throat> Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to stop the recording.